Well, when I get really old and gray and, and my grandchildren, and they're going to say, Grandpa, can you tell me about LT? <laughs> And I'm going to, you know, gather them real close to me with all the, the love I can for them. Son, I got to do that in this. I'm going to pause and I'm going to look them dead in the eye. Hey, Sula, you better hope I never get back in there. I will kick your I'm going to say, hey, LT was a bad mother. Lawrence Taylor has walked a crooked road. From Super Bowl highs to rock bottom, he was the greatest defensive player of his generation, but rarely protected himself. He really wasn't that good as a freshman. Uh, I think he was a starter and he was okay as a sophomore. My junior year, I decided I'd rather be respected on the football field than in the streets. As a junior and a senior, he just kept getting better and better and better. Donnell Thompson unloaded on Maryland quarterback Mike Tice, recovered by Lawrence Taylor. When he came to North Carolina, the coaches played him at probably seven different spots before they found the home for him. We tried him first at nose tackle, moved him to inside linebacker, and that wasn't what was meant for Lawrence. And so he moved him to outside linebacker, and that's where he fit. Lawrence Taylor for good quarterback Ben Bennett. Lawrence Taylor completely intimidated the pirate offense. The third year away from Chapel Hill, I was coached for Texas Tech. And uh, we were going to play North Carolina out there. It was a real close game. Sure enough, when Tech was in scoring position and a chance to win the game, Lawrence burst through. He took the quarterback, the pitch, caused a fumble and recovered a fumble in one play. And we ended up winning a game nine to seven. There's no question he had a lot of talent. In fact, I think the good Lord threw away the mold when he made him. Lawrence Taylor completed one of the year's memorable plays. Having worked with Bill Parcells, uh, Bill did call and just said, tell me about this guy. I think I recall saying to him, Bill, this will be short. He's everything you want. You know, I wasn't exactly in charge of making the picks, but they were all very hopeful that he would not be picked on the first pick of the draft. New Orleans Saints take as the first player, running back George Rogers of South Carolina. When George Rogers was named the first pick, you know, I got up and went to the refrigerator to get a beer. By the time I got back, you know, I had already been, so I never even saw it. The New York Giants selection, Lawrence Taylor, linebacker, North Carolina. When I first got to the Giants, I was on the third team. I only lasted about 10 minutes, and then I moved to the second team. Then before I knew it, I was on the first team. Yeah, this is all in the first half hour, but... Uh... <laughs> It took LT literally about one practice for everybody to know that he, he was probably the best player on the field. His first scrimmage, I can remember talking to Ray Perkins after the scrimmage, and he was asking me what I thought, and I remember my exact words. I said, Ray, we got to get this guy in the game right now. The Giants have not won a home game against Philadelphia since 1972, so losing is kind of inborn. Playing for the Giants back in the old days was uh, exercising futility. We were considered the doormat of the NFL industry. You hope that maybe a Lawrence Taylor, a new player, comes in and plays and makes something happen. He was eager to learn. He just had to show him the technique, and he could pretty much do it right away. 